Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Cassandra here and welcome to my channel. So, um, as you can tell, we are on the um on the floor. We are on the floor. But there's a reason why we are on the floor. Because I was sitting here and I was thinking and I was watching videos this morning about um how to organize paper packs. And I will show you guys in a minute um what my stash looks like so far. But I want to get them organized and where to where like when I go to use them there's an easier way for me to use them instead of having to like pull them out one by one to see which one's which so that's what we're going to do today but before we do that how I plan on doing this and I'm sorry for bad lighting and stuff I'm on the floor and I have like this little baby tripod in my hand but how I plan on holding them is by these uh, happy planner discs so I have my punch Ooh. There's someone that was up in face. Um, but I have like, you know, I have this stuff sitting here. Um, but what I want to do is I want to take the cover off of each one of the paper packs and then punch them, put them on the discs and put like a number on it and then put, use my little tab thingy and put a tab on each one of the books itself. So that way I can like look through the, no, but y'all, y'all will see. You will see. Um, but the first thing I have to do is take off the uh, rings on this one because I want to see if they fit on these small ones. Because I bought these two-inch expander ones um, for this because this is actually like it used to be an actual planner, but then I converted it and made it into like a notebook type thing. Um, so, and it's starting to get starting to get thick. Um, and it's starting to like pull stuff off. So I wanted to buy the expander disc so that way I can add more stuff to it if I wanted to. So we're going to do that first. Um, and then we will move into the paper pack. But let me show y'all. My paper storage thing. Um, you guys will probably see this in a video sometime soon. But these are all my papers. These are all like the card stocks. Um, some of these are card stocks. And then there's actual like paper packs, like regular paper. And then I have like these crafty ones. Um, yeah, so that's all my paper packs I have so far. And when I go to use them, I have to like literally like pull them out like this, go through every single one, pull it out, see if I want to use it. Um, and if you look on the front of these, they have like this one's a double sided one. So it has the sheets, like what the sheets look like. So I want to take this out. And make like a book out of them to for me to like be able to flip through and see which one I want um, like what I want to use and be able to find an easier way to use this stuff so, so let me get my camera set up and we will get started on this I don't know how long this video is gonna be hopefully I can speed it up because it's probably gonna be a minute but yeah well, let's get to this is the paper out of that one side that's a lot of paper that's a lot of paper okay let's get to uh organizing shall we since we have them separated into two, two, two different packs we have like more like um I don't know I don't know how I separated them I literally just separated them so I'm not even gonna not even gonna fight with it um but so now what we're gonna do is go through here and then I'll rip it off hold on we need some scissors what we're gonna do now we're gonna go through and take off all the covers. Most of these are still brand new because I did just buy a whole bunch of them. I don't know if he's ripping it. As I 
take them off of here. I'm going to start numbering them. We're gonna use this. I have this. This is a craft card stock. So as I take as I take the covers off like this, what I'm going to be doing is taking my label maker, turn it on. put the number one because this is the first one print that that is really big but it's okay then we're going to take and peel this off like this you know what I'm probably actually going to do this so then we're going to put number one right there yeah, you know what? I don't think I'm going to use my label maker. Which is, I like the thought of it. It's going to take a lot of more time than what it's needed. Okay. Making this up as we go. So, this one already has a number on it, so we'll just use that for that. Um, then we're going to take the craft paper. We're going to take this. This is a tab cutter that I got from Hobby Lobby. And we're going to take, put this in here like this. And bam. Then we're going to take set tab. Take our double-sided tape. Put a little bit of tape on it. Put it on the back. it on the back right here at the top and on that we will make number one I don't know if, if y'all can see it and then that way when you close it you can see it just like that I think I don't know, but oh well. And then on the back, we will go ahead and write the number one as well. So that way, either way you're looking at it, you can see the number one. So then we'll put that and that off to the side, and we'll move on to the next one. Probably should have got my. Uh, little exacto knife thing because it probably would have made this a lot easier so then we're just going to take instead of using the label maker we're just going to take and write the number two probably could go ahead and cut a bunch of these out as well but you know so we're going to go ahead and write the number two on this one Then we take our double sided tape. Put it in there. And bam! And now we got the second one done. So I'm just going to go through here and do that to all of these. And I'll leave this running so that way I can just speed it up later. But I'm gonna go ahead through, go through all these and do that same exact thing. And I will see you when I get it done.
Okay, guys. So I finally, finally, this is not all of them. Um, I still have the side ones that's on this side, but I wanted to go ahead and get these ones done so I could finish this video up. Um, but so all of these are done. As you can tell, they already have their little labels on. They look so cute. And then I have all the covers to them right here. So now what we're going to do is since they're already done, I think I will put them back on the shelf. I'm trying to figure out which way I want to do it. Yeah, so I'm going to start like, well, no, that would be stupid. Yeah, so we're just going to go like this. I could probably just pick them up and put them in there like a few at a time, actually. It was really hard to try to get the uh, tags in the right spot because some of them are a little bit taller than the other. Like I have one Mambi one in here that's from Happy Planner or whatever it's called. Um, and it's a lot taller than the rest of them are. But I think in, you know, in hindsight, I really didn't do that bad at getting them lined up together. I don't think so. Stop being stupid. Okay. Yeah. I like that. I like it. I like it. I'll show y'all what it looks like. Um, in a minute, once we get done. Okay, so. I'm thinking we might go ahead and just put them on these rings so that way I don't have to take that one planner apart and then I'll just go back and buy more of these later for my other planner. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put all of these in order. And I have them all labeled. I know I'd probably get to flip them over and start backwards, but I'm complicated. And like, see like this one, I have two of these. I have two sets of these um, because I started to run out of one. So I went ahead and bought the, the other one, but I'm only going to put one, um, what you call it? One cover in here. And then I'll just set the other one to the side. And I know that I have an extra one. So, so we're going to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and add this one in here. I wasn't going to because it's like tore apart, but I know I need to have this in here. So what number are we on? 24? Because like when I bought it, it was falling apart like this, um, but I still wanna be able to put it in here and use it. So, yeah, we're just gonna, I'll probably get a clip and put it together, but I still want to have the thing on it, so let's go ahead and get that. I got smart though, guys, like halfway through it, halfway being done with that stack, um, I went ahead and pre-made some of these things, these little tab thingies that I was using. I pre-made a whole bunch of them and then went ahead and wrote the number down on it because I mean I do plan on I, it's what I do. I'm trying to you know like open my Etsy shop. Well I'm trying to make a successful Etsy shop so one of the things that I will need is paper so I do plan on buying more um but I'll have to remind myself to put a clip on that later so it stays together. Okay anyway so we got that out of the way. So as you can see, I still have all these papers over here to do, but I'm gonna wait until I get this done so that I can go ahead and get it started and get this video done. So what we're gonna do now 
is you're gonna take like three of these. Um, you don't have to use one like this. You can use like a paper, regular paper clip or paper clip hole punch. I'm just using this one because I have it. Um, and we're not gonna line these up exactly. I might actually only be able to do one at a time. So just for reference, um, for those of you who do have a happy planner or plan on using a happy planner, um, if you go buy one of these punches, buy the pink one. Um, if you plan on doing both happy planner or the classic planner and the big planner, because if you look on here, um, the lines up here is for the big planner and the ones right here for the classic. So you can do both with the one punch. You can actually do all of them with just one punch. And all I'm doing is just lining it up at the top, sticking it in there, lining it up at the top, and then flipping or pushing it down because I don't really care if the bottom's lined up. I just want the top to be lined up. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to punch out these and I will fast forward this so that you guys don't have to sit here and listen to me talk and... punch now so then what we're going to do is we're going to take these rings and you know looking at it I actually have where is it is it this one So I think what I will do is go ahead and I have these. Um, this is chipboard. I bought it at Michael's, but it's a 12 by 12 chipboard. I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put holes in this as well if it will fit. And it does. Yay. And go ahead and put holes in this. So that way I can use it as sort of like a cover for, because this is going to be sitting on my desk. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to take this, flip this over like this. Then we're going to take our little rings. Are you kidding me right now? Well, that was lame. Evidently, they only give you enough for the classic, not the big size. That's not nice. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our covers or our thingies. We're just going to slice it on just like this. 
and don't think you have to have that. I mean, you can do it any way you want. I'm just using Happy Planner stuff and like the Art Punch um, because it's what I have on hand. But you can definitely just use like regular, um, like a binder or something to put yours together. I'm just doing mine like this, like I said, because I have all the stuff handy and it just works. And like I said, you can definitely um, use a 12 by 12 photo album if that's what you want. I'm just trying to figure out like what the easiest way for me would be. So, I mean, I'm not going to say you guys will probably see this in the future because you never know, I might do it for a little bit and I don't like it, so then I switch to something else, which I will be sure to do a video on if that does happen. Speaking about habits, does anybody else say happen? Like hampen? Instead of saying happen, you say hampen? Like something happened to you? Or is that, is that just me? Is that just a weird thing that I do? Okay, so this is what it looks like. Obviously, as you guys seen, um, I didn't have enough rings to fill the whole thing up because this is all it came with. It was enough for the classic. I thought it came enough with the big, but it didn't. But anyway, so this is what it looks like. So we put these rings on there. And when you open it, you can flip through and see all the different paper packs that I have and the designs that are on them and then because I know half of these I know like some of the stuff that are in them because I have had them for a while or I've had similar ones that's like them so yeah so this is just what it looks like it is getting a little sticky but I'm sure like over time the more I use it, the more I flip through it, it will be better. I'm thinking I probably should have actually, like, went through them. Because as you can see, the ones with the hot buy, like this on it, are from Michaels. This one is also from Michaels as well. That one's from Michaels. But, like, this one, the Paper Studio ones, are from Hobby Lobby. So I'm thinking I probably actually should have went through and separated them by store. Because like the ones that says Paper Studio are from Hobby Lobby. The ones that says Hot Buy are from Michaels. Um, I did get some from this one I think is actually from... No, that one is from Michaels. Okay, yeah. But yeah, anyway, so. Oh, no. Anyway, so this is what we have so far. Um, I do still have about 14 12 by 12 paper packs and like three or four 6 by 12 paper packs left, which I'm going to put in here. But that was the gist of the video. So if you guys want to see what the rest of it looks like, I will post a picture of it up on my Instagram. The link will be down below and you want to go look at it. But yeah, that's going to be it for now, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you're not and you'd like to be, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and follow me along on my Etsy journey. So, oh, and don't forget to hit the bell so that way you're notified whenever I upload a new video. But until next time, peace.